Last week, a Harvard professor called coconut oil poison. I don't think it's necessarily poison, but there's definitely some things you need to know about it, and I want to give you some perspective. So we've been hearing a lot of great things about coconut oil. The American Heart Association doesn't agree, however, because it is a saturated fat. But the great things we've heard is it's, it's very good for uh, weight loss, it increases your metabolism, and what happens is that when people are talking about coconut oil, almost in the same breath they talk about something called medium chain triglycerides. So medium chain is the thing to focus on. And you've heard of this MCT, so that's the abbreviation. So there's a lot of MCT oils out on the market. The problem is this. Let's talk about the chains. So you've got short chains, medium chains, and long chain fatty acids. Short chains are under six. They're carbons, doesn't matter, but they're under six. So you can get a length. And then medium chain is six to 12. Long chain is uh, more than 12. So that's, those are the lengths. Long chain fatty acids are associated with weight gain. The body holds onto them. It stores them not what we want if you want anything to do with weight loss. Uh, and the medium chain is uh, good because they're processed quickly, they're not stored, so they can increase your metabolism, and that's the good stuff you've heard about coconut oil. So here's the problem, is that when you're looking at all the different fatty acids in coconut oil, there's one called lauric that is 50% of coconut oil. Um, the other one, I wanna get the percentage right, is meristic and that starts with an M as in Mary, and that's 18%, and then there's palmitic, which is 8%. So, lauric at 50% has 12, so it's right on that borderline of the medium chain, and then both um, meristic and palmitic are 14 and 16, respectively, so they are definitely long chain fatty acids. All right, so, now, when you're looking at these long chain fatty acids and when you're at the 12, so if you're at the 12, which is just on that borderline between medium and long, those are all considered saturated fats. So that's where you get this argument of this major constituent, 50% of coconut oil, being okay for you because it's a medium chain triglyceride. Okay, but here's the thing. It does have 12, so it's right on that border, but how does the body see it? So that's where I found the research to be very interesting because the, the long chain, medium chain, and um, short are, are processed differently in the body. And what happens is, as you're raising the fat content of what you're eating, what happens is um, the short chain get preferential treatment in the good way, going through the liver, but then the um, medium, higher medium and long chain process through what's called the lymph system, and lauric acid gets processed more like a long chain fatty acid. So that's the real interesting point that you need to know. While on paper, it's a medium chain, but if it's being processed in the body like a long chain, you still have all the negatives associated with it. So I think that's where you get this craziness of, it's good for you, no, it's not good for you, it's a medium chain, no, it's a long chain, <laughs> and you get all this um, data coming at you which can feel very confusing. But that's really where the metal meets the road on it. And so, as a saturated fat, is it better than lard or butter? I think absolutely, but it's still a saturated fat and it's being processed like a long chain fatty acid. So that, that desire of the body to hold on to it and raise cholesterol, it's still there. So if you're, here's the deal. I mean, the number one killer in the US is heart disease. And this is something that has a tendency to raise your cholesterol. So if you're there, this is a bad idea. It's not something you wanna do. You wanna keep your saturated fat quite low, get into the healthy fats. If you wanna get into true medium chain triglycerides, as in a true MCT oil, you'll find it doesn't have any lauric acid in it because lauric is flirting with the, is it medium or is it long? And that's not, that's not a line you want to you want to walk down because it's, it's tenuous and potentially dangerous. So uh, I hope this helped. 
If your health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. That's what I do here at Root Cause Medical Clinic along with my team of doctors. We're all about getting to the reason why your health is not optimal. And I've spoken out a few times about, uh, about coconut oil and it's because we see what we see, you know. Uh, we see patients who are really um, thinking it's wonderful and, and their blood values are not so wonderful. So um, that's something to think about. But if you are dealing with some health situations and you don't feel like your traditional doctor is really getting to the root of them, you're just being handed maybe pill after pill, drug after drug, and you don't feel like you're really getting a full picture of how to really reverse the condition, then please reach out. That's what we're here for. So give me a call at the clinic, 408-733-0400. We offer free phone consultations, or if you're local, you can come right in. And uh, I hope this was valuable for you. Please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you next time.